MTG and me, this is Charles, and today we're going to take a look at the 2018 Magic the Gathering Gift Pack. Alright, let's go. So the Magic Gift Packs were a product that replaced the old holiday gift boxes. Uh, at the time, it was a box designed to hold Magic cards. It held approximately 2,000 Magic cards. It came with a number of boosters, some basic lands, and a foil promo. Um, but starting last year in 2017, Wizards replaced the gift boxes with gift packs. In fact, last year's gift pack product looked something like this. Well, it looked exactly like this. Now really the highlight of these kits were the basic lands. If anything, that's where the value was. I was fortunate enough to pick up a couple extras of these uh, last year on clearance for about $10. And uh, I've still got some of them sealed sitting on the shelf. So now, although we get five foil lands, we also get five foil gift pack promos. Now these are promos that are mechanically unique, technically belong to the Magic 2019 core set, and are considered standard legal in conjunction with the core set 2019. Now they're not particularly competitive cards, but we'll take a look at all five of them when we open them up. Then we get a spin down counter, and this year, instead of three booster packs, we get four booster packs. I believe the MSRP hasn't changed, so based on those calculations alone, this gift pack provides better value than 2017's. So if we take a quick peek at the back, we kind of see what I just stated and reiterated. We get art viewable of the five premium promos, the premium lands, foil foil, spin down, and booster packs. Uh, so let's open this up and take a closer look. Okay, so if you watched through that for fast forwarded section of the video, you'd see the tray is a little bit complex. There's three tiers to it. As mentioned, we get four Corset 2019 booster packs in there. An interesting addition with uh, Wizards of the Coast promoting Magic Gathering Arena is that they've included a promo code which will have been redeemed by now I'm using this code sorry folks that will give you the actual cards in Magic Arena now it's likely we're gonna see this in promotional products a little bit more going forward I personally appreciate it that it's here it would have been even nicer if it was a promo code that also gave you say four booster packs for the cards it is what it is our foil basic lands we got a swamp a foil swamp by Mike Birk. Uh, our worst nice. We've got a foil mountain by Andreas Roca. A foil island by Andreas Roca. A forest. That's actually some pretty nice forest artwork by Vulcan Vega. And a John Avon Plains. That's pretty interesting that they're all different artists for the promotional uh, planes. I'm guessing because these are not, these are no different from standard lands that would have been in the core set 2019 uh, but it would have been nice if there was five from the same artist similar to last year's i believe so we take a quick look at the prom the promos we'll do these in order three. we start with an angelic guardian it's a six mana four and two white five five flying angel so it's gonna have some casual play possibilities uh or angels and commander this is whenever one or more creatures you control attack they gain indestructible to end of the turn so kind of nice there. Then we got an Angler Turtle. This is a seven mana, five and two blue. Hexproof Turtle, five, seven. It says creatures your opponents control attack each combat if able. So you're forcing people to attack into your giant turtle wall. Uh, this one's kind of nice. Uh, six mana, four and two black, four, four vampire with lifelink. And whenever this creature dies, you destroy a target creature and opponent controls and you gain four life. Then we have an Immortal Phoenix. This is a 6 mana 5-3 flyer, so 4 and 2 red with flying. And whenever Immortal Phoenix dies, return it to its owner's hand. It keeps coming back. And then the last one, and arguably probably the most playable of these cards, is Rampaging Brontodon. So this is a 7 mana 7-7, seven, seven, 5 and 2 green dinosaur with trample. It says whenever Rampaging Brontodon attacks, it gets plus 1, plus 1 until end of turn for each land you control. So what this means, practically speaking, is that this thing is likely a 14-14 trample as it's attacking, because most likely you'll have ramped it out. Um, so, yeah, I could conceivably see this actually seeing some sort of play in, uh, you know, 
a green stompy or a green ramp or dinosaur ramp deck uh, even in standard potentially although again there are much stronger cards out there still pretty neat card what good is a gift pack if you're not going to open up the booster packs so let's open these up and see if we pull anything sweet so uncommons we've got a dragon egg copy of knightly valor a regal bloodlord and then our rare is Jin of wishes Start with a copy of make a stand then we've got a tight tonic rift an exclusion mage and our rare is a transmogrifying rod and this is the random element of these products but also the thing that'll probably make it enjoyable to open it on christmas if you happen to get it as a gift speed of skilled animator a draconic disciple colossal majesty then our rare is a thorn lieutenant okay well i can use the thorn lieutenant and we got a foil common viachino pyromancer Start off with a diamond mare and we got an aether shield artificer a Surge Mare, and our rare Supreme Phantom. Overall, what do we think of the product? Well, I gotta say, I I feel like this is a step up from last year's gift pack. I think Wizards could certainly build on the quality of these gift boxes and make something that players will really enjoy having. All right, so that's it for me. I want to thank you all for liking, commenting, and subscribing. And as always, thanks for watching.